So compression fracture is just what it sounds like, a type of fracture. Um, there are two parts of the spine. Um, I can use the, this guy. So there are two parts of the spine. There is the front part of the spine and the back part of the spine. A compression fracture is a fracture in the front part of the spine. Uh, and there are a couple of different types. There are some types that there's not a lot that we can do for, but the more common type is what's called a wedge, wedge fracture or a compression fracture of the vertebrae itself. Uh, when that bone here fractures, it can be because of decreased bone density. Maybe the patient has osteoporosis or osteopenia. Uh, sometimes they'll just have low bone health, and so that can predispose them to suffering a fracture of the compressive sort. Sometimes they may be involved in an automobile accident or a fall or some other type of trauma, and uh, the same thing can happen. The bone itself can cave in, it can compress, and uh, that can generate pain and inflammation. Spinal compression fractures um, not only significantly affect the patient's uh, level of pain and quality of life, but do have medical consequences as well. Um, most significantly are the pulmonary or lung issues that occur due to the difficulty taking deep breaths. Uh, there's data to show that these patients uh, have increased risk of developing pneumonias, and that's because of the medical comorbidities that can occur uh, just simply due to not being able to breathe, uh, due to the increased heart rate, increased blood pressure that occurs due to the pain. When a compression fracture goes untreated, patients often aren't able to do activities of daily life. They fall into a downward spiral of inactivity and reliance sometimes on pain medications or other therapies just to get through the day. One of the major complications of having a uh, compression fracture is deconditioning. Uh, it's been shown in study after study that um, especially amongst elderly patients when they have a compression fracture that downward spiral that I think we're all familiar with can occur and they become less active, less engaged in everyday life uh, and can suffer other problems like uh, blood clots or uh, downward spiral of their other medical conditions. So it's important if you have a compression fracture to get attention for it, to get treatment for it and to see someone who knows how to best manage that problem.